Hello everyone. Today is the chapter of uh, th thrust bearing we will make here. So now the new window and select new part. So now open part and OK. Now go to the top plane. This is the part of our uh, injection molding machine. Top part sketch, top part sketch. And after that uh, have to take because our soft uh, uh, bus ID is 80 and our outer should be around. So, we will give the dimension, define the dimension here, in our 80 and outside is 112. Now, uh, this is our, uh, our uh, body of this bearing. So, what I have to do only simple things that uh, we have to uh, extrude for uh, 5 mm, go to the extrude and extrude 5 mm, upside, up there that, uh, so now for 5 mm, upward 5 mm, that is. So, what I have to do, only simple, uh, select front plane, plane, sketch, go to normal and uh, select here one uh, your uh, this is uh, you can make uh, one circle here only. Uh, and diameter of, of this uh, 10 mm and uh, Uh, make a line here, uh, center line, make a create one line, should be horizontal, define as a horizontal, okay. Now, that uh, uh, this And here to this should be 5 mm. So it will become here. And a difference between the center uh, make one center line uh, your vertical and do the dimension now. This should be here 48. Uh, you can go uh, with uh, revolved cut now uh, around this all around ok you can see that uh, face of your bearing has been created here so, so we can save now this uh, some little part have to uh, chamfer here so slab chamfer uh, go to point uh, two or six point five only and make some chamfer. Okay. Save this part number. Uh, yeah, this is the uh, make a new folder here and your this is your thrust bearing your thing now uh, i have to make a new uh, new part of uh, our uh, case here so uh, middle part we went so top sketch and here have to make some uh, so same that uh, we can take one and two, that two uh, 
circle and define the value here 80 inner circle uh, will be same and also other circle will be same as per our drawing so now both circle uh, the thickness of this uh, we need 2 mm so go to feature extrude 2 mm okay now 2 mm so now uh, select this go to sketch go to normal and make one center line because the uh, set color is coming uh, no need but uh, you should be comfortable like now select this ten mm after making the circuit give the dimension ten mm and here center to center this should be forty eight Now go to the uh, extrude cut, cut is here, now cut is here. So what I have to do, so we can go that uh, we want to more cut here to make the bearing here. So what I have to do that uh, parameter about this, which parameter do you want, so we can use this, how many, 18 is enough. So now select OK. This is our case. Now we have to give some color here. This uh, this metal we can take uh, bronze or brass as well as so. Okay. We can save this. Auto ring and middle part. we can uh, do uh, one more thing here if you want so uh, select uh, first uh, we, we can check here that uh, what I have to do that the center line is here this is center line and this is uh, our so now this is uh, our top this is our right plane so right plane is sketch and uh, go to normal here only make uh, one uh, uh, take the make the center line here first this is center line of this okay no input and also one vertical line vertical center line if we have done the, with the mid plane so it will become itself so now we uh, check here so now have to make uh, one circle 10 mm uh, anywhere you can make to find the value 10 mm now define the value here here to here 48 now that is and uh, take the uh, line 1 and go to one vertical line here to here and select the entities now go to again and select uh, center line make center line here this is perfect check this is to be vertical now I have to go what I have to do only that pivot base uh, this is a merge result uh, uh, remove this only select x axis this axis our ball is ready now you can see no need to give the color here so we can uh, still color now because uh, this is the uh, other part uh, this can be rotated no so uh, 
uh, what have to do only uh, circular pattern we, we need uh, again we can circular, circular pattern again uh, about what uh, about uh, this we can use not this this we can use here and also uh, this uh, we need this this body now select this uh, in bodies uh, not feature in uh, bodies select bodies devolve this and parameter have to select to uh, out of it now this is so now our uh, middle part is uh, ready so what I have to do only uh, assemble this so now save this as middle part already we have saved so now uh, how to assemble this uh, go, uh, go to new Correct. Assemble new new window and browse the outer thing first. This is and also you can float or something here that uh, this is float or you can origin this. So no need now this time because this is already fixed. So we have to take the only injured part. So middle part and one uh, one outer thing also control and this control and one part this and also this one and one part now so this is fixed this is floated and now go to the mate uh, how to do that uh, only select inner circle this inner circle okay now uh, select this this face and face of our outer ring and distance must be 2 mm only you can fix this is going no distance so what I have to do only flip the dimension left hand window so now 2 mm there ok take this part upside and uh, again select this and construct it this is a concentric that uh, all all uh, all the outer and inner circle are in one uh, one shape in one row so now i have to fix this part and this part so what i have to do select this select this go to up okay and give the here 2 mm okay and again now not flip wait wait a minute we are all We can go in the move component and rotate, rotate this part, this is not going very well, how to do that uh, only, go to the mat again and this is the constraint, so delete this, yes and when we can rotate first this, now select and rotate, simple way. Uh, I'll be, uh, I can do uh, without rotating, but uh, my motto that uh, you should be done very well. Mat again, this round and this round face. Okay. Again. And now this face and this face and give the distance to an only. Okay. Now our bearing is ready. We can move this and also move this. This is our first bearing. 
I hope you like this. We will use this bearing in our uh, machine. Uh, when we will fix, uh, we will assemble our machine. That time we will fix uh, at our start. So now, guys, I think you like this. If you like, please subscribe and share uh, this video to others. Thank you. Thank you very much.